Okay, so we have an AP calculus free response motion question. We have at time is greater than or equal to zero, the velocity of a body moving along the x-axis is, now this is velocity, v of t is equal to t squared minus 4t plus 3. Before we even start moving on with the question, I want to help you guys by reminding you that what you really want to be careful of is when you first start answering questions like this, is to figure out what they're giving you. Sometimes they're going to give you position. And if they give you position, then it leads to different strategies. So please be careful. So just making a quick note of what did they give us, and they gave us the velocity function. The first question is find the body's acceleration each time the velocity is equal to zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to figure out when the velocity is zero. So when is the velocity zero? So when is t squared minus 4t plus 3 equal to zero? So I'm writing this as if I was holding the hand of my AP reader. So I'm telling them I'm taking velocity and I'm setting it equal to zero. I'm going to go ahead and factor this thing out and we'll get, we'll get t minus 1, t minus 3 equals zero. You don't have to show this work. If you can see this uh, intuitively in your head, that's fine. So we have t is equal to 1, t is equal to 3. So, so if t is equal to 1 or t is equal to 3, then, sorry, then v of t equals 0. I'm trying to give my reader a path to follow me by. And it says find the acceleration, uh, acceleration for each of these times. So I'm going to keep these values here in here. And now I'm going to go on to the acceleration function. And the way I'm going to do that for my reader my a, my scorer, right? The person who's scoring this is I'm going to tell them I realize that the first derivative of velocity is acceleration at time. So this is that little bit of hand holding that we want to do with them to show them that we're good calculus students and we know exactly what we're talking about here. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to take the derivative here and say the derivative is 2t minus 4, isn't it? So 2t minus 4. So we want to know, what, well, what's the acceleration? Well, the acceleration at t is equal to 1. Acceler acceleration at 1 is equal to negative 2. And then the second acceleration is a of 3, which is equal to 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4 is positive 2. So these are our accelerations, acceleration, when v of t equals zero. Probably put a box around that because that answers this question. I'll put a little check mark here for myself. I did that thing, right? The next thing I want to look at is the, is the second part of the question. The second part of the question says, when is the body moving forward or backwards? <coughs> And we can look at this thing parabolically. We can look at this thing as a function. The function looks like this, doesn't it? We know our function does something like this, right? And that this is the point t equals 1. This is the point t equals 3, right? So knowing that, then what we can say is this. I'm going to put this as B so my reader can follow it. When T is which way do I want to go first? It says forward. So we'll go so body is moving forward for V of T is greater than zero. So where is v of t greater than zero? We can take a look at this really quickly. v of t is greater than zero here. We're looking at the heights, right? It's greater than zero here, and it's greater than zero over here. So where are those places? So one is t is less than one, but greater than zero, because remember, our 
our condition says that this is true, that time is greater than or equal to zero. So I, matter of fact, I should put greater than or equal to here. So if that time is greater than or equal to zero, but less than t, uh, less than one, we have forward movement. And t is greater than, right? It's greater than three, right? It's greater than three. And you can write a little note to them. C graph. Right? And here's my proof. The body is moving forward for v of t is greater than zero. And then I say v of t is greater than zero for these values. And there is my answer. Okay, so that's part B. Now to part C. Part C is a good question. And part C asks us, when is the velocity increasing or decreasing? This is what you have to be really, really careful about here. It says here, when is the velocity? So I'm looking at the velocity, and rate of change in velocity is, is, of course, acceleration. But it doesn't ask when the speed is increasing or decreasing, because that would be a different question. Then I would have to compare the sign of acceleration to the sign of velocity. In the case of, they're just asking me here, they're asking when is acceleration increasing? So acceleration. So we know that A of t is equal to 2t minus 4 a of t equals 0 no acceleration so we have 2t minus 4 equals 0 and we get t equals 2 so at t equals 2 and if you look at this this way here's the graph of this function it's 2t minus 4 the thing looks like this and this is the point right here, the point 2, 0. So, so when is, they're asking only, are they asking us both questions? They're asking for increasing and decreasing. So, so decreasing at A of t is less than 0, therefore, T is less than 2, but greater than or equal to 0, right? And then increasing is on the other side, isn't it? Increasing at A of T is greater than 0, therefore, T is greater than 2. And there are answers. I want to be careful here to give our AP reader, our AP grader, enough work to look at, not so much. We, we say we want, to, we want to hold their hand, but we don't have time to hug them. So we want to hold their hand and show them, this is the way, this is what I'm doing, this is the general steps that I took, this is this ha my decision-making process, but not so much time that we draw everything out because what will happen on the AP exam is that you'll run out of time. So we have to keep moving, but at the same time, encourage our AP reader. I was talking to somebody the other day and found out that an AP reader, a person who grades AP tests, will grade 1,200 tests in a week. So we have to make yours a test that is easy for them to give good grades to. So we're going to walk them through it the best that we can. We're gonna, when we find our answers, we're going to circle our answers, put squares in our answers, we're going to do something, and we're going to show them good calculus. So here we said that we realized that acceleration is the first derivative of of velocity, etc. And here we said the body is moving forward for, and we're saying, well, we know when velocity is greater than zero that we have forward movement. And then we find those intervals on which that's true. We have a good looking graph, and we can, sh and we send them to our graph. All right? So I hope this video is helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks. Oh, comment. Com please.